This is not the internet. This is the metaverse. Hello pioneers. Today I'm going to talk to you about two important dates coming up on our calendar. And that's the 1st of March and the 14th of March. So we're going to be getting mass migration and uh, supply limits. So on the 1st of March, the first version of the formula for uh, the rewards issuance is going to be released. Now we know this is going to be a declining function and what that means is that say for 2022 we get 5 billion coins for distribution, then 2023 we'll have 4 billion and 2024 we'll have 3 billion. So these are just made up figures but uh, you can just see the declining function there. So on the same date that we get the new uh, formula it's actually going to be going live as well. Now this means that we've been told that it's going to affect the base mining rate. So we know our base mining rate is going to go down on the first. And so there's two things that's going to happen on March 1st. All right, we're going to get the new issuance formula and this is going to affect the base mining rate. Now on the 14th of March uh, we're going to get a new mining mechanism. Right? And we've seen the mining equation before. Uh, it's very similar. It just adds uh, rewards for developers and people that get their applications used and for people that run nodes. Now, for KYC, um, we've been told that the network adoption for the new mining mechanism will run in parallel with uh, mass migration to the mainnet. Right. So for someone like me who's already got my KYC, you can see here that under my checklist, I still actually don't have my full KYC. I've still got to go through a, a core team check. And once they've checked that, then I can go to my transfer balance and I'll be getting a button to transfer to mainnet. Now once our, uh, oh, this gives us a, a chance to refresh and go through our configure lockup rate, make sure we've got that set correctly, push save, and then I'll be able to transfer the balance. Once uh, you get to that side of it, once you've got your, your wallet set up and your, your balance of your coins, you'll be able to apply to be a validator. So there will be five validators. Uh, you can see here how the ID is uh, split in half. So you, you won't be seeing uh, all the details of one identification for security. And when you apply for your KYC, right, at the, if you, once you pass, then you'll be charged one pi. And this will be split up, most likely, you know, 0.2 pi for each validation that uh, the validators do. So that's pretty well it. Um, you know, we're all hoping to get through everyone's KYC nice and smooth. We've got new equations coming, new mining rates, um, nothing else left to really do except uh, sit back and enjoy the life of Pi in the year of the tiger. So, see you next time.